These crispy, crunchy rose cookies are an absolute delight. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit on that bell icon, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. To kick things off for this recipe, we're gonna be mixing our dry ingredients first. And for that, we're gonna be going in with a narrow base tall bowl. And that comes in handy when you're making roast cookies. And to that, we're gonna add quarter cup plus two tablespoons, which is approximately 45 grams of all-purpose flour. Three and three-fourth cup of rice flour, which is about 400 grams. And to that we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Let's give this a whisk so that the dry ingredients get well blended. Okay, we're going to keep this aside and now mix our wet ingredients. Into the bowl we're going to crack five large eggs and these are all at room temperature. Two, three, four, and five. And to that we're going to add one cup, which is 200 grams of white granulated sugar. We're going to whisk this till we break up the eggs and they mix with the sugar. Okay, this is looking just perfect. For an added flavor, we're going to go in with one can, which is 400 ml of coconut milk. You could even use regular milk if you wanted. And half cup of room temperature water. For a traditional flavor, we're going to add in one tablespoon of a pure vanilla extract. Now let's whisk this and bring it all together. Just whisking it for a little bit so that it gives the sugar a chance to dissolve. Okay, that should do. And now to bring our rose cookie batter together, we're just going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry. First, just making a little well over here to pour in the wet ingredients. And now let's pour the wet ingredients in. We're going to whisk this together till we get a smooth batter. If you wanted, you could even pass it through a sieve to make sure that the batter is smooth. But I think we'll be good if we just whisk it a bit. Here you go, we've got a nice smooth batter. To form the rose cookies, you could either go in with the traditional form, which is this one, or you could go in with a form which is like this. And I prefer this form because it has a brass bottom which heats up better in the oil so the batter clings on well and gives you a well-formed rose cookie. Let's go over to the stove and heat up the oil. To a heavy bottom pot, I filled up some vegetable oil and it's about one third the height of the pot. And with that, I'm gonna put in the form. And now we're gonna switch on our stove to high and heat up the oil. Alongside the oil, we've got our workstation all prepped and you'll be wondering what all this is about. We're gonna use the bowl to shape our rose cookie when it comes out hot from the oil. Now, if you don't have a bowl of this size, you can always use a measuring cup. It's just a simple measuring cup, which I've inverted over here. Or you could just crush up some foil into a round bowl and use that to shape the rose cookies. To check whether the oil is hot enough, we're gonna insert a bamboo skewer into it. And once you find all these bubbles coming rushing to the surface of the oil, you know that the oil is hot enough. Now it's time to reduce the heat to a medium and start forming the rose cookies. Are you ready? Watch carefully. We're going to take the form out of the oil. We're going to dab it on a kitchen paper towel to take off excess oil. And then we're going to dip it into our batter and hear that sizzle. Now you're going to turn it over and then immerse it into the hot oil. We're going to leave that there for about a second or so before you start jiggling it. And that's going to help to release the rose cookie from the form. So that our rose cookie gets a nice golden color on both sides, we're going to flip it halfway through the frying time. Now you could take the rose cookies out just this way and enjoy them. But we are going to go one step further as I told you and we're going to make pretty flowers out of them. And now we're going to take it out from the hot oil. And I'm going to place it onto this measuring cup that we had kept earlier. Now if you want, you could also just leave it flat without curving it. It looks pretty and tastes just the same. 
You could always do the second one as the first one is frying. Now we're just going to flip this over so it fries on both sides. And now we're going to leave it down so that it gets a chance to cool down. Remember when you put it into the hot oil, not to touch the form to the bottom of the pot. Always keep it towards the surface floating on the top. Always make sure your form is immersed in hot oil because that's going to be key to getting the perfect roast cookie. Also keep in mind, the more roast cookies that are frying in the oil at a time, the lower the temperature of the oil is going to drop. So you might have to increase the heat of your stove. If you like sesame seeds, I have lightly toasted quarter cup of sesame seeds and we're going to add it to the remaining batter. You could also add black sesame seeds if you want it. The roasted sesame seeds give the roast cookies a lovely flavor. You can see the sesame seeds on the flowers and besides adding to the flavor, it also adds to the beauty. And this is why I use a narrow bottom high bowl because when you're coming to the end of the batter, it's easier to get more roast cookies till the end. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give the roast cookies a taste. Which one should I go in for, the flour or the flat? I think I'm gonna go in for the flat. The flowers are too pretty to eat. Wow, can you hear that nice crackle? Wow, these are so crispy and delicious. And you get that lovely flavor of the coconut milk in it. I'm telling you, you've got to try this recipe for Christmas. And if you want to enjoy it as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.